All right. I got a pile of stuff to do. I got a pile of stuff done, but when somebody says, hey, I have a Ford truck with a Caterpillar in it and it's in the way, do you want it? Of course you're gonna say yes. Hasn't ran in a while, see if we can get it running, see if it's any good, and then uh, bring her home. Besides, scrap is high, right? Here we go. Alright, so we got Tim Hortons, we got a key, I got an ownership for it. Story for it for this truck is that it needs engine work um, and they were just, the, the truck's too tired. I think it's been sitting for two years. Um, the last safety was done in 18, so that makes sense. It would have expired in 19 and they probably pulled the plug on it on 19. Looking at it, it's probably, it's not terrible, but like rockers are pretty well. So I think it uh, was a vacuum truck and not that we have time to fix this thing up and make it roadworthy again, um, but uh, we have a good deal going with VNR, so uh, they'll take this more than likely and we'll trade them for engines in the yard or uh, I-beams or angle iron for the, the workbenches and stuff, but it does have a cat in it. There it is. This won't be coming with it. Four cylinder cat. I think there's no batteries in it. He told me there was no batteries in it. So we brought some batteries. We're gonna see if we can uh, fire it up. It's just down the road from my house so we can limp it home to my place and then yank that out. I should, I really wanna put that in my little forklift or maybe that man lift. We'll see if that's any good. Hopefully that's good. Otherwise, uh, yeah, see if we can get this thing going. 14 liters of oil. Oh, she's a little crusty. <laughs> Look at all that goodness down there. No batteries, like they said. It's got oil in it. Look at that, right up the par. Nice aluminum intake piping. We can maybe use some of that for a cat. And I think the Hydro Boost might fit on our F-350 too. Who is the battery sponsor today? <laughs> Interstate. <laughs> This is a 2002, so it would have been one of the last years with the 7.3. But I believe in 2000, they started using a different type of connecting rod, which was a little cheaper and can't handle as much. So if you plan on doing a swap with a 7.3, I think the golden year was like 98 to 2000, something like that. So this is not the most desired power stroke, but this was a very good engine. So this would have been a vacuum truck to clean out ductwork. So I imagine just local driving around in the city, putting around at 50K an hour, making some noise. I don't know if they got a fleet of them or not. Um, the equipment on here, I guess, is extremely outdated as well, which is why they didn't um, they didn't swap anything over. I, I, story is that the cat's in good shape and was actually rebuilt at some point. That's everybody's story, right? Everything's been rebuilt. <laughs> Everything's been rebuilt. <laughs> oh, we got noise. That steering wheel's sticky. That's so gross. <laughs> Full tank of fuel. There we go. 332,000 kilometers. <laughs> Ether. So if there's a battery company out there that wants some exposure, because I don't know what happened, but every battery seems to have gone to crap. That was 1124, that's a two year old battery. Well, that one's good. The latches are off of the, oh, just the one. The latches are off, that's usually a bad thing. All right, I'm gonna get Aaron in the cab, turn the key while I spray some. To me, there. Light off? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Keep going, keep going, keep going. 
<laughs> Maybe a little bit too much either. <laughs> Let's sit for a minute. Now this side is sponsored by Napa. Piece of garbage. Doesn't sound very good. See if the cat's there. This is the, the important part anyway. Um, I don't know how to shut it off. Well, turns over. That's good. It has oil in it. It must be hooked up to those batteries, so if that thing starts, we've got all maybe enough to start the truck. So that alternator now is charging these batteries. We might, might still be able to get her going. We want noise everywhere. That's already a success. All right, we're at 13 volts. We'll let it sit for a couple minutes. Let's see, I'm out of Timmy's, which is unfortunate, but. this battery directly on that starter and if that doesn't do it we'll just grab the tractor and pull it home. between the ether locking up and helping it. Just for you guys that said we planted the truck, 
Look, it's been sitting in this spot for a while. <laughs> well, somebody painted this steering wheel and it just never dried or it melted again in the sun. Like, <laughs> you see my finger? It's so gross. <laughs> Let's get this thing home. truck it's pretty presentable we got some n95s that are worth like a thousand dollars now so that's good we got a knife to uh keep back anybody that wants to steal these <laughs> this was wow nice we always need those those are, those are always good what's in the glove box ah. oh booties gloves Air check, no ownership insurance. I do have the ownership. I'll just, yeah. Huh. <laughs> what is this? Is this a ladder? Oh man, that's that's awesome. Oh, that's so sweet. That's an awesome ladder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think I need that. <laughs> Is this awesome? Yeah. Nice. And it's whatever height you want. That's sweet. What a steal. Oh, and the cat engine, but. And some uh, non, non marking tape. tape. That's great. <laughs> An unmarked fuse panel lid, which is useless. <laughs> oh, what's in the box? Oh! Nice! <laughs> what a good day! <laughs> that's awesome! <laughs> Not that that's high top end or anything, but that's pretty cool. To me, this is a lot of wasted weight. Like, this thing is so heavy. It's like, you gotta carry that weight around with you all the time. You think that there'd be a better setup? <laughs> <laughs> that's gross. <laughs> yeah, the, that's all the leftovers from the duck cleaning. That's everything they suck out of your yeah. house. We got some Legos, some crayons. <laughs> um, Aaron, is that a condom? Reach in there and grab it. See, see, see if that's a condom, man. <laughs> More duct tape. Shelter, easy dark. So there's compressor. You must have a compressor and a vacuum. So, vacuum pump is probably in there. Uh, airline and ball valve. And there's the compressor. You got a belt driving off of the back of the engine and then there's a clutch. So you just pull on the handle and that starts the air compressor and the vacuum pump. Sweet. With the amount of smoke, it's probably just a couple of injectors that are out and that's when they call it quits run and that would make sense it's just kind of huffing and vibrating a little bit this makes me think that there's a miss um so if you guys want the engine um it's at vnr <laughs> <laughs> you have a week contact vnr and say can i have that engine we got a ladder we got a caterpillar um some diesel and a usb charger it's a, it's a good day. So, um, we'll start yanking the cat out and then uh, go from there. Let's get into it. Probably one of the e oh, sorry. Probably one of the easiest engine removals ever. Um, two bolts for the fan shroud down here, one bolt back there. Some fan belts, two bolts right here. Exhaust. Ah, I, I hit the U-bolt. Anyway. We yank this out, take this box with it, cut these off nice and flush, slide it out onto the forks, done. Here we go.
All right, so it's actually a lot heavier than I thought. Um, I couldn't do it with the tractor. I had to grab Old Faithful here. <laughs> old, faith, <laughs> old Faithful in the fact pounds. that it does run, and Old Faithful that it like spews hydraulic oil just like... Uh, it's a 3054B, which uh, was designed in part with Perkins. So this is a Perkins and a Caterpillar worked together on this engine, I believe, and it's a pretty stout engine. So we don't know whether we're gonna sell it, or swap it into this forklift. It's, uh, I just keep having carburetor issues with this one where it, it keeps spewing fuel everywhere. The needle and the seat keep acting up. But um, this would be a nice fit for that, but it's a little bit long. It's a better fit for that upright in the back that uh, we can make an abandoned video on because the guy abandoned it in my yard. <laughs> so we'll see. So no, comment, abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> hasn't ran in years, that's legit. So comment down below whether you want to see this in the forklift or in there, or if you just want to give us money for it, we, we could sell it too. But anyway, this is, uh, this is the one thing of value that will be heading to VNR and you can buy it there. All right, one last thing. I had to look at what's behind this door here. And... Ugh. Ugh. I'm just gonna keep that closed. We were, we were never there. All right, here we go.